Parents of Reddit, what is most fucked up secret you are hiding from your children? I'm the child but my dad waited till I'm grown up to tell me that my mom gave me a lot of sleeping pills when I was a little child. So she could leave me alone at home to maintain her relationship with her lover while my dad was working in another country. That cleared up many things. Edit. Thanks for everyone wishing me well. I really appreciate that. I'm doing well and it doesn't affect me beside that I don't remember much about my childhood. But I didn't suffer or whatever. Meanwhile I'm dealing with depression and anxiety since a few years but I'm not sure if this links to the drugging. But meanwhile I'm pretty good at being depressed to be honest haha. <laughs> Otherwise is my life really good? I want to clear up that I'm in okay terms with my mom. She learned from her mistakes and I forgave her. I just don't forgive her that she did my dad so dirty. My dad is the greatest person I've ever known and he deserves to be happy. People are brutal, wow sorry man. My parents told me my sister is adopted. They didn't tell her, she's 34. By the way help what do I do? Buy the whole family DNA test kits for Christmas and watch the world burn. Savage, but actually intrigued on how that will go. That we're divorced. Years before they came along. Spouse and I decided it wasn't working out and got divorced. Years later, things still weren't working out fantastically for both of us. So we got back together. Never did get around to getting remarried though. What are you gonna do when they fill out forms for FAFSA or other legal documents they need help with? This is a legitimate question. LOL, edit. I know this won't affect the aid they receive, since the parents live together and the kid is dependent from both. But FAFSA asks whether or not your parents are legally divorced regardless. So my point is that the kid would find out through this process. It costs tilde $150 and 15 minutes to go to the court and get the papers filed. Easy remedy. Although, you may get more from FAFSA if you only file as having one parent. That I don't actually enjoy watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. My two-year-old would be devastated because that's our show. I'm not the parent, I'm the child. But my family kept it a secret that my brother was a child molester and that my grandpa had raped my mother and threatened to kill us grandkids. I found out because I told my sister that my brother had molested me and she told me about the rest. We were raised having a relationship with them like they were normal human beings. It's absolutely disgusting that I got all these bedtime facts from Reddit. That was an awesome thread by the way. My daughter knows that her grandparents are getting a divorce. She doesn't know that it's because Grandpa, 72, decided to knock up a 23-year-old. We will talk about it once she's older. But I don't want to normalize that relationship for a pre-adolescent. Edit. This is my father-in-law. He's definitely not rich. In fairly impressive shape for a dude pulling social security. And I am happily ignorant as to the status of his erections. It's a small town story with a fucked up single mom and an old man that hasn't experienced much. Emotional growth since being drafted for service in Vietnam assured these people would never end up together if they were emotionally healthy and didn't have control issues. I am definitely going to do my best to explain to my daughter. But she's 9 and emotionally overwhelmed by the very idea of the divorce. When she comes to me to talk about it, Having processed the idea, then I will explain the situation more fully. My husband has already told his dad that our family and his new family won't be getting together for a barbecue anytime in the foreseeable future. Edit 2, a lot of you dudes are assuming a lot about 23. I would remind you that we are talking about small town, single mama, daddy issues, rural deep south, grandpa fucking 23. Y'all are a bunch of optimists. So the aunt will be younger than the niece. Quiet down, Jon Snow. That she can't have a relationship with her grandfather because he's a pedophile and I would never trust him. Monsieur the rest of my family maintains a relationship with him and leans on me hard to 
Open up communication because family comes first. They are absolutely right. My family does come first. Which is why my daughter will never have to have a relationship with Hi Monsieur. Edit. He has molested, raped multiple members of my family and I only found out when I was pregnant with my daughter. Without going into too much detail. He also has a mental illness and I've been told that I need to let him have a relationship with my daughter because he's sick and couldn't help it. You are doing the right thing. I only found out a couple of years ago that my grandfather was a pedophile and molested most of my aunts and maybe uncles. That also explained why about 90% of my uncles and aunts have been raging alcoholics for their entire lives. He wasn't really my grandfather. He took care of my grandmother when her husband left her and their six children. To me he was my grandfather and he was my godfather. I just don't understand why my otherwise perfectly fine parents had to stay over at my grandmother's place when he was always around. Nothing ever happened as far as I can remember but I just don't understand why you would take that risk as a parent, no matter how small that risk might be. I have a daughter of my own now and if that fucker would still be alive today I would not let him anywhere near her. Oh yeah? He was a priest when he took my grandmother in but had to leave the church a few years later. I wonder why, that we don't go to bed the same time as they do. That's me every night at bedtime. Asterisk daughter asterisk, books. Asterisk me asterisk, no more books. Time for night night. Asterisk daughter asterisk, books. Asterisk me asterisk, no more books. Time for night night. Asterisk daughter asterisk, mama. Asterisk me asterisk, mama went night night. Time for night night. Asterisk daughter asterisk, daddy. Asterisk me asterisk, yes. I'm going night night too. It's 6.45 of course I'm not going night night. Sounds like she has her priorities in order. I never actually took his nose. It stayed on his face the whole time. In fact, it has never once left his face. Even though I have told him that I took it countless times. I even showed him the tip of my thumb as evidence of the theft. Sorry you had to read that. But it feels really good to come clean. Edit. Thanks for all the responses. Oh some. I will tell him the truth eventually but have to make sure mom is on board, too. For those of you condemning me, your words weigh heavy, but honesty, much like a fire at the circus, is intense. My son's older half-sister molested him and that's why we don't see them anymore. Waiting until we can get into a psych for support before we break it to high monsieur. Edit. He was three when it happened so was able to tell us. Quite graphically. What was happening? The sister also admitted it and said she did it because it was funny and she liked to hurt. Hi Monsieur DCP. Child Protective Services. Became involved and investigated for both families but couldn't find anything suspicious. We are telling him because we very strongly believe it is the right thing to do. We don't know what, how much he remembers and would much prefer to give him the coping skills now. Instead of possibly letting him disintegrate into a non-functioning adult with massive problems. Thank you so much for all the support. It is a horrible thing to deal with but we are going to do everything in our power to love and support. Hi Monsieur I am so sorry that so many of you had to go through similar situations. I am proud of every one of you for surviving and fighting hard. I'm really glad that you stopped all contact and look to get him professional help. I know people in similar positions, but the family still keep them around or stay in contact. Thanks. He did get professional help when it happened but he was only three. We think he remembers it but wants us to say it. His school thinks it has a lot to do with current behavior and learning difficulties so it's time to face it and hopefully put it behind us for good. Update first of all thank you again for all the many kind words and the show of support. My wife and daughter picked me up earlier this afternoon. We opted not to video the moment as it felt impersonal and we just wanted to truly enjoy each other's company as we soaked in the monumental occasion. 
I definitely cried more than my daughter did. Over the course of the day she became more and more excited and exclaimed, I can't believe you are coming home, it has been a fantastic day. Not really fucked up but still a big secret. I've been living five and a half hours away from my wife and daughter for the past 11 months. Every time I talk to my daughter she asks when am I coming home? Well little does she know that next Friday when her and her mom come for what she thinks is just a weekend visit they are actually coming to pick me up for good. Thanks everyone for all the kind words. To clarify a few things. My move was medically related. I got shot when I was 13 and this is in no way related to that. I am a social worker by trade but have not worked in the field these past 11 months due to my situation. I actually did an AMA about it a few years ago. My wife and I did get divorced and yes, we did co-parent. However recently we have decided that the truth is we should have worked harder on being together and are giving it another go. I call her my wife because I never really stop thinking of her that way. I mentioned being shot because people were checking my post history and seeing that I had been shot. But not that it was when I was 13. People were wondering if that is why I had been away. I want to thank everyone for the incredible show of support and compassion. For all of the kind words. I would especially like to thank those who shared their personal stories of similar circumstances. Thank you for the gold and everything else. Honestly I am unable to properly express how your words brighten my day and will continue to provide encouragement. I promise you all that I will post an update. That's as amazing, I hope she'll never have to ask that again. I don't have kids but here's a family secret. My mom and I left the straight in run for two days while we took a family trip to Canada. It doesn't have an automatic off. We haven't told my dad. Edit. The house is fine. The counter was just really hot. This was like two years ago. Did it work, or is your house still gay? It's flaming. Best comment I'll read all day. Luckily I'm on the toilet at work cause I farted trying to stifle laughter. Holy cow my daughter and I have done this. Bonus story detail. My husband is a firefighter and was at work the day we forgot. I was mortified at how close he was to having to fight a fire in his own house. So mortified, in fact, of having him discover in full gear my forgotten flat iron that I went back to curly hair. And all I could do was look at my daughter and say, this never leaves this room. Greater than we haven't told my dad. Don't. As a dad, I would then spend the rest of my life checking the bathroom for plugged in hair doohickeys before leaving the house. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.